Big night, special night. It's an honor I'm very proud of, and um, not just myself, but our team as well. When Mark uh, called me and, and said that I was uh, going to be inducted in the original CSS Sports Hall of Fame, I mean, the memories come flooding back, and the uh, just the and it, the hockey was was special, but just the, going to St. Scholastica itself and the, the education that uh, received, and I've always said it's probably for the best years of my life here. I just can't say enough good things about the school. When Mark Wick called last spring to inform that I was being inducted into the inaugural CSS Sports Hall of Fame, I was both very honored and very humbled, and I want to thank the selection committee for considering me and voting for my induction. It is, on, it is an honor that I will always cherish and be forever grateful for. I've always said that going to school at St. Scholastica was four of the greatest years of my life. I take great pride in talking about St. Scholastica and what a great opportunity it is for any student to be able to go here. I think it's a great honor. I had many great years here and I really enjoyed my time on campus and I loved my teammates. I had some really awesome teammates throughout those four years and a great coach in Paul Stein. And so to be selected amongst that group who were in national champs was just, I'm just overwhelmed and very humbled. And to those players that I played with, two national champs, it was just, it was an awesome time. I don't know how Paul Stein ever did it because we were just talking earlier how we had such a wide variety of personalities on the court. We just had a lot of fun. We worked hard. We had common goals. And we, I think we learned that at St. Scholastica. Um, we, had, we all got a great education here. It's an honor to be back. The campus has changed so much. We, back in the days for, you guys must remember, just Tower Hall, the Science Building, and the dorm. Again, thank you very much. I am so honored and feel so blessed and so humbled for this award. It's a great honor, and it's something that I'm going to um, treasure the rest of my life. Um, Mark Wick contacted me and gave me the great news, and I'm excited to be here, and my family and friends are here to help me celebrate. It was such a surprise and such an honor to be recognized as an inductee for the inaugural Hall of Fame. And I want to congratulate each of the members who are being inducted tonight and to be able to be with you as we're getting recognized this evening. I also want to be able to thank St. Scholastica for what they've been able to do in preparing me both from a personal and professional level due to what St. Scholastica offered me in the four years that I was a student here, and certainly being a student athlete and giving me a well-rounded opportunity to grow. Uh, it's quite an honor to be in the inaugural class. I mean, there's a lot of great athletes uh, that came, that played before me, that have played after me, so to be considered for this honor is, is, is great. I mean, I, I think there's a lot, probably more deserving candidates, but somehow they, they chose me to do this, so I think it's pretty cool. I like to cling to my glory days whenever I can. I, I like to wear my St. Scholastica baseball apparel, and it, it amazes me how many people will come up to me and ask about the program. Whether they know somebody who played here, somebody who is currently playing here, somebody who would like to play here, or somebody who's just a baseball fan at all. The baseball program is bringing recognition to this college, and I think that is fantastic. While the age difference between the new alumni and us older alumni is getting wider. The bond that we share by playing baseball at the College of St. Scholastica is the common denominator. These relationships are what the College of St. Scholastica and this baseball program is about. I'm proud to be a St. Scholastica graduate. I'm proud to be a member of the inaugural class of the Hall of Fame. And I'm proud to be a member of the baseball family. But it's a huge honor, um, just uh, recognizing for all his hard work that he um, did when he was here at the college um, and recognition of, of the players as well. This honor is really um, for the players that he was privileged to coach and I wanted to share just a little story as there was always a, a little routine that would happen that all of you were part of at our house but you probably never really knew it. In the fall as you would take the field he would come home with a bundle of energy energized by all of your, the skills that you were showing, the talents that you played, and the competitiveness between the blue and black and gold squads. And then in January, when the season would start, he would say, it's possible we're not gonna win a single game this year. 
I think we'll be moving. <laughs> Every year, it was the same thing. <laughs> I was never sure what transpired in those few months to make such a drastic change. Perhaps it was the fact that the field was still covered in feet of snow, or just the pre-game, pre pre-season jitters that he had. But the first game would roll around of the season, and he would settle in, and he would have his eyes set on the regionals and the College World Series. Each of you inspired him, challenged him, some more than others, Stephen, <laughs> and molded him into the coach that he was. So John, it is strangely reassuring, the suggestion that the pain of the empty space will always be with us, because while we do want to feel better, we do not want to ever forget you. Thank you. This is huge, I feel. I feel we're the people that started the athletic program in, at St. Scholastica. We're the first hockey team, first really male athletic uh, sport at this university, and then for us in three years to uh, bring home a national championship, and that was huge. That was, got us on the face of the map, and. Now we're moving forward and now I walk around here and I see what we've started and it's really, it's really awesome. Uh, first of all, thank you to God for everything and everybody. I uh, want to thank all our friends, relatives, our fans, past and present for all the support that you've given us over the years. I really want to thank the current administration for their commitment to athletics coupled with academics and for setting up a way to acknowledge athletic excellence while playing at CSS. And when I walk around and I see this facility today, wow, look what we started, guys. We are very proud to be the very first national championship team for this institution. Unbelievable the amount of communication that we've had since we were told that we were gonna be bestowed this honor. It rekindled the friendships that we had and the tightness that we always were, and that's why we are who we are, national champions that year, because we were the team that we were and the people that we are. And we walk around and we see this now, and uh, thanks to people like Father Shea, Del Genero, and commitment by St. Scholastica, we were able to get this started, guys. Thank you for being part of this. I've had the honor in many capacities of growing up here at the College of St. Scholastica, as many of you have, as a student and then the opportunity to come back here. It's wonderful to hear our uh, uh, past athletes to talk about the growth that they see in the facilities and the excellence in athletics. To be able to be back at the institution as an employee and see what has been able to accomplish here at St. Scholastica, not just in hockey, baseball, basketball, cross country, volleyball, but across the spectrum in all our sports is really exciting. We really do feel like the best days are in front of us in St. Scholastic Athletics, but those days aren't possible if it wasn't for the great athletes, the great coaches, the great teachers, friends, fans, and family in this gym. We would really like to see you here again next year as we continue an incredible annual event where we honor the greatest athletes in the history of St. Scholastica. Thank you, everybody. <laughs>